Hello everybody, my name is Adam Wokde and in this video I'm going to try and survive 100 days on Battle Titan's official servers. And I'm not gonna play just any creatures, I'm gonna play the most famous dinosaurs of them all. Introduction are not needed. Video ends if I die even once. Will I be able to survive a hundred in-game days? Let's find out in this video of Path of Titan Survival Challenge. First order of business, start in tutorial cave. Second order of business, leave said tutorial cave. Third order of business, I need an adult. As you can see, I got dropped off on Rainbow Hills. After a quick look around, I quickly got on with quest. Oh, and just in case if there are people who aren't aware of this, the only way for you to grow on official servers are through questing. The majority of these quests are gathering quests, and on completion you will receive a certain amount of growth. Each area have their own quest, and you just repeat this cycle over and over again until you are full adult. Please have mercy, I am but a boy, even my parents didn't want me. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, sneak away, sneak away. After a close encounter, I decided that this area was way too dangerous for a solo baby Rex. I immediately started to head south. After which, I decided I had to make sure that all of my encounters had some distance between us. Lucky for me, a little baby Rex are somewhat easy to hide. We aren't too big yet. Unfortunately for me, some encounters are doomed to be rather intimate. In this case, my strategy was just act nicely and as much non-aggressive as you can. Hopefully, the other part will be just like me, just interested in growing, not particularly in fighting. I may be excluding cowardly behavior right now, but there's a reason why I am absolutely horrified to play as a Rex. You think just because you're a Rex people will fear and respect you? Don't make me laugh. People will come running at you. Not to inspect you, but to kill you. Especially if you are in more populated area and you're alone. You see, for many players, killing a Rex is an achievement. With this mindset, this in turn makes players target Rexes. Especially those who play solo, just like me. What you can expect on official servers, if you play Rex or Spino or any Apexes and one dinosaur starts to attack you, you can expect an army to be close by, creeping in on you. It doesn't matter if you're known to be one of the strongest creatures of all dinosaurs, even the mighty falls before great numbers. I hope you got the message clear, and I have shown you exactly what I'm trying to avoid. I am smart enough to stay away from any populated areas, and on day 9 I decided to call it a day. I had reached adolescence, so I was particularly satisfied with my progress. It was closing in on day 10, which means that I am close to receive my first mission. You see, in this challenge, every 10th day I will receive a mission. I will then have until the next 10th day, or 10 in-game days, to complete this mission. If I fail to complete this mission, or I don't complete the mission before the time ends, the video ends. If any missions give me conditions on how I can play, the new missions will overrule the old one. 
first mission first mission please be something good please I not have the high tier not have the high tier Phew. some missions are targeted for specific creatures if I was a semi-aquatic then this mission would be rather troublesome can you imagine playing as Sarko but not being allowed to go in water since the quest I received wasn't that bothersome, I continued questing like normal. Lucky for me, the eastern side of the map are less populated, so the chances of running into a player are rather slim. Furthermore, thanks to AI-generated corpses, I am not forced to hunt other creatures. As long as I know the location of these bodies, I can avoid making unnecessary enemies and avoid gathering attention to myself. What's more, there are also small watering holes spread across the map, and even though these small watering holes forces players together, in areas where juveniles will usually quest, they would rather be peaceful. Unfortunately, there does exist juvie killers but for the time being, the shenanigans going on in Crater were far more interesting than hunting babies. Regardless of what was happening across the map, I was approaching day 20, and that means a new mission. Please be something easy, just like last time. Come on, come on, come on. Please be something easy. Uh, oh. Oh no! I'm just adolescent. I'm barely even sub-adult. How am I supposed to do this one? <laughs> Knowing the challenge and the danger that this mission brings me, I had to grow as quickly as I possibly could. Lucky for me, the few players that were around were rather friendly, so I didn't have to worry about any conflicts. At least not yet. With time, I had finally done enough quests to become a sub-adult. Please be enough, please be enough. Yes, I'm sub-adult. Okay, so at least now I stand a little bit higher chance against any foes. Unfortunately, finding the right target proved to be rather difficult. And even if I am a sub-adult, a full-grown adult mid-tier will prove to be a difficult challenge. But for the time being, just finding one proved to be the most difficult challenge. There were just open fields and hopping kangaroos. No mid-tiers so far the eye could see. This continued until I finally saw a chance while stumbling around in burnt forest. While drinking, I saw that the water quality was rather low, and the quest items around were also low. Apparently, something was close by. A full-grown Allosaurus. I was barely a bar away from being a fresh sub-adult, but I knew that I would not receive such a chance again. Now just some context, during the day this particular footage was recorded, my internet was rather bad, and when I did attack the aloe here, the server decided to do a time reversal. It was like my attack never happened, but lucky for me, this was like a sign from the universe. If I had caused any commotion at this moment, 
I would have brought on top of me a far more dangerous foe. And let me just say this, once I saw this enemy, I just hightailed it out of there. I was not staying around. If you can see what type of creature this was, then I think you can understand that this would be a bit too much for a subadult Rex. I waited out until next day, until I was sure that enough time has passed by for them to move along somewhere else. Except for the aloe, I hadn't found any other mid tiers down south, so I decided to search up north. Unfortunately for me, there were no mid tiers to find. I had no other choice but to just continue searching while also doing quests and continue growing. And on day 29, I was almost adult. Well, actually, I reached adulthood. After I became an adult, I decided to call it a night and continue the search the next day. <laughs> okay, in game time wise it's still day 29 and I really need to find a mid tier, at least I'm an adult now. Even though I was an adult, that didn't change the fact that finding an adult mid tier to kill, or a higher tier for that matter, it was still not any easier than before. The only creatures I could see around me were either low tiers or not adults. Is that baby Rex getting attacked by a Struthio? Oh he is! Oh well this is the most entertainment I've seen for a certain while. Searching pause, I still have it. I still have enough. I still have until midnight. Besides, I, I kinda need the meat. Either the Rex die or the Struthio dies. I'm fine either way. No, don't you come to me. I'm not your parent, kid. And there he goes. Hey, that's mine. Go away. Why do we even pick up food? You do realize babies doesn't drop trophies, right? Oh well, food for me. Honestly, at this point in time, I started to lose hope. But then, the universe decided to bless oh. me again. Yes, 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 die, 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 ah, yes, why aren't you responding, are you not here, is this guy disconnected or something, or, oh well, doesn't matter, um, die already, oh man, I was minutes away from losing this challenge, phew, having just avoided failures, Day 30 arrived. Okay. Day 30. Please, please give me something less stressful this time. Please. Oh. Oh, oh okay. Now, uh, well, this, this is an upgrade. Knock, knock. Come out, come out, little snack, midnight snack. That counts as anything, right? Right? Yeah. Ah, thank you. Nom 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 nom. That was easy. After basically getting a freebie, I decided to head back to Hoodoo Expanse. After all, there is easy access to food and water over there. Not to mention, there are less people on this side, more than expected, and less than what is actually normal. Either that or people are just really good at hiding themselves. And speaking of hiding themselves, so did I. Can you see my Tyrannosaurus Rex? How about now? Continuing like this, I laid low to day 40. Come on, give me an easy one this time too. You know I love them. Wait, 
Well, at least it's not a mid tier or a high tier. Is that a trivial? Oh, it is. See, see, I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Friendly. Yeah. I'm friendly. It's okay. It's okay. I will totally not backstab you and eat ya. Yeah, I said. Yeah. You see? Yeah. I'm big here. You're kind of small. Yum. Nobody saw that. Actually, um. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll take the trophy. If I don't take the trophy, then it might look like it was just killing for sport. So uh, this way, people may think that it was done to get the trophy. Brilliant. Okay, okay, everybody, you can calm down. I decided that that kill was a bit too cheap. Plus, I want some action, so I started to head west. Of course, my goal isn't Impact Crater, but rather Grand Plains. According to Global, at least, most of the drama was happening in Impact Crater. Surprise, surprise. In any case, I figured that as long as I avoid Crater, I should be able to get some action. Quite not many people here. Hello? Oh, hello. Two Achilles. Yeah, it's clear as day what they want. Yeah, it's obviously clear. Well then. You guys wanna fight then? You guys better initiate. I'll let you guys have the first hit. Whoa there, Bakuro. They haven't shown any hostility yet, but it's clear what they want to do. It's just they uh they don't really know what to do due to having more having limited space to move in. Come on, just pounce on me. I uh, it's easier for me to deal with you if you're on me. Wrong button, wrong button. Damn. And... What? Damn it, Terrain! That is so not fair. Okay, that was too early. Okay, I need five shakes. Okay. Okay, the red one seems to be the less... Uh, the less aggressive one. It's the lighter one seems to be the boss here. He, is, he seems to be the more experienced one. I should try and target the red one. Oops. Oh, come on. I should be able to hit him right here. He's so close to my mouth. Why can't I hit him? That's kind of BS. How many times have I shaken now? This red one should be low on stamina. Yes! Now it's you, bro. You want to continue? I'm good with stopping right there. Take the trophy. I'm going back to the eastern side of the map. Thank you. Goodbye, Grand Plains. With that, day 50 had arrived. Alright, universe. Tell me my fate. Are you telling me to go make friends? I saw you up there. I don't know, were you in Allo? Dasp? One of the two. I saw you up there. You're a Dasp, okay. I'm not here to fight. I'm just here to deliver something to you. Just a gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, didn't... The, the mission didn't specify that you had to accept it. 
I just had to I'm just here to deliver you something. It's a gift. Up to you if you, you know, accept it or not. Don't worry, I'm not here to fight. Just gonna put it right here. I'm sure you don't want me to come any closer because you'll probably be uncomfortable. I mean, look at me. Also he is he gonna accept it? He probably won't accept it. Maybe he thought it was a trophy and now he's disappointed. Oh hello. Munch. Are you not really not gonna react? Are you also disconnected? What is with people and internet these days? I thought it was only my problem, but... I mean, with me, you're probably the third person I meet in this challenge that has internet uh, problems. Wow, this guy is tanky. Did they nerf the T-Rex bite again or what? Well... Just gonna take this and actually, I actually need the food when thinking about it. Yeah, should probably eat while I still can. It was day 60, and I was really starting to get tired of this challenge. I just wanted it to end. Unfortunately, instead of ending, I got a new mission. And in this, I had to stay in one location for 10 in-game days, meaning, as I am in Stego Mountain, I could not leave this place. Fortunately, I could just stay up in the mountain being unbothered. Most of the players don't even bother going up there, as they are only here for the quests. Once they are done with the quests, they usually just move over to another location. With me just watching YouTube videos while all this was going on, day 70 arrived. Come on, day 70. Be nice to Papa. Papa needs a break. Please no any, not more any stress. I'm tired enough as it is. Oh, well, um, considering that last time was rather easy. It's only fair that I should, you know, try and actually challenge myself, right? Psych! I only have one life in this challenge, why should I risk it all? After a rather long break IRL, I came back and I couldn't believe my eyes. I witnessed a child kidnapping. Or at least that was I thought, at least from what I could see. Wasn't that clear from first person. So far in the challenge, I have managed to survive while also not causing too much fuss about me. If I had started to cause chaos around here, I would have gathered some unnecessary attention. At the time being, I just decided to try and make as many friends as I could. It's always good to have a few allies. Who knows? Maybe they'll come in handy later. In any case, before I knew it, day 80 had arrived. Day 80... What is my fate now? Wheel of Fate, tell me. Oh. Oh. But I don't have any conditions. Does this mean I will have to receive conditions and then have them nullified for this to have? No, you don't have to worry about a thing, past Alden. While just sitting around waiting for time to pass by, I received some company. Some company in form of opportunistic KOSers. I've seen these people earlier running around killing any Jewies they saw, but now it seems like their eyes are finally set on me. Unfortunately for them, the location I was on 
wasn't exactly easy to get to, and while I was wary of the knockback on the Pycno, I wasn't actually too worried. If he fell down, he would receive a bit of fall damage, and he would be forced into a head-to-head -head clash with a Rex. Eventually I saw that this wasn't going to go anywhere, so I decided to show him how I got up there. Now that he knew that there was a way to get up where I was, I was hoping to see some progress. Due to the location I decided to reside on, I wasn't really too worried. You see, this area it was a perfect checkmate for most creatures. Due to the way you had to take to get up there, you will be forced into a head-to-head -head clash, a combat style the T-Rex excels at. Of course you could just go around and tag some fall damage, but then you would give me the health advantage. Furthermore, if you're not careful on the way up there, you can receive tons of fall damage. Regardless of how effective this method was, this strategy would not see any bloodshed today. Remember when I said earlier that these guys were KOSers? These two Pycnos were most likely earlier victims, and they were here for revenge. See, this is why I try to not cause any chaos while I'm here, or else I would face this problem. Making enemies and have them hunt you down. Eventually, I got tired of the same scenery and the same view. I decided I wanted to set my sight up a little bit higher. In between Dried Lake, Green Valley, Big Quill Lake and Green Hills, there is a nameless mountain. On this mountain there are no quests, so any creatures have no real reason to go up there. In other words, a perfect location for me. Not just because people won't really visit there because there's no real reason, but also because, not only is there water up there... Just a few meters further west, there is a carcass. Easy water access close by. Easy access to food. On top of that, no quest to attract any players, which in turn won't attract any KOSers. A perfect hiding spot. Well, except for when there occasionally a flyer comes by. This place was safe, but I did eventually get bored, so I started to seek some action. Oh hello there, Achilles. You know what, this is kind of funny. I was stuck in the exact same situation mm, a few days earlier. And if I remember correctly, the results from that fight were rather favorable for me. And I don't see how the results are going to change any... Oh, hi Hutz. Um, oh! Oh, well that complicated things! Oh, I gotta hit on you there! Okay, there. because of the huts now I gotta... Ah! Terrible team play. Okay, I still don't uh, get why I can't uh, hit the kill right here. Also, how did that hit uh, the Akira and the huts? 
and stun doesn't make any sense. Your turn. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay. I can't go to. I can't go after him because of the huts. If you guys wanna hit me, then you gotta come down here. Like that. One, Really? Four of I need five? And shake of Oh, where did you come from? Oh, damn it. They are getting smarter. Okay, I need I'm at a I'm at a disadvantage here. The huts could uh, cause me to take full damage. I need to Don't worry, I checked earlier. There aren't any sarcos or spinos in here. So I should be safe. I did see a Suko though, but I don't think uh, he really cares too much. Hey, don't just spin on me. Okay, at least now I have somewhat of a roof over my head. So now I only need to worry about the Achilles. Hello there. Stay away. This is terrible point of view. Okay. Uh-oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Lost count. Uh, um um Storm. Yes, direct it. Yes, got a hit. Okay. Oh you think you're safe on there? Surprise! The don't take full damage. Phew. There was no way out of this for me. And I actually thought that I was going to die. I decided that if I was going to go out, I was going to go out with a bang. And there's the Suko I was talking about. Okay, the Suko is cool. Okay, the Nakilos and Huts. Let's do this. I'm coming out with a bag. For the Emperor! Uh... Where the fuck are they? It would seem that they had completely fled the scene. Battered and bruised, I return to my mountain to heal up. You know, I know good things doesn't last forever, so I just have this feeling that the devs probably will make this place a proper questing place in the future, maybe. I mean, this easy of an area to hide in, way too good of a spot. <sighs> in, in any case, let's get that uh, wheel up. Okay, this is happening a bit more frequent than I would like. If anyone have a suggestion on uh, any missions that might be fun and somewhat challenging, please leave it down in the comment section. For the remaining of time, I decided I wish to walk around on the map, or at least in the safe areas. Of course, this is by no means safe, as the chances of running into another player are more likely. So I decided to walk around, but this time with a friend. After all, strengthening numbers. It probably helped that I didn't wish to start anything. This is probably the reason why all of my encounters were rather friendly. Of course, that didn't mean that there weren't drama in one of the more populated areas. Of course, I made sure to stay clear from those. Of course, there were still times when I did travel alone. In these times, I made sure to keep a low profile, or at least not do anything stupid that would attract any unwanted attention. 
After some time playing the pacifist, the final day and the final challenge had arrived. Before we start with the final mission, I should probably clarify something. Even though I have survived 100 days, I take 10 more days for good measure. You see, the way I keep track of time is by setting a timer every time I start playing the game. When my timer reaches the amount equal to 100 in-game days, I consider the challenge over. The duration of Path of Titan's day and night cycle is around 80 minutes, 40 minutes daytime, 40 minutes nighttime, which I figure out by first logging into a private server, made sure that everything was on default setting, turn the clock back to midnight, and then just wait. The time it took to reach around the halfway mark was around 40 minutes, and for a full duration I rounded it off as 80 minutes. By doing the math, this challenge should last about 133.33 hours, or 5.55 days. Considering I do need to take my breaks, I expect it to at least take 16 to 20 days. Of course, this method aren't too completely accurate, henceforth why I add extra time. The rules are still the same, if I fail to complete this mission, I lose. Oh. Oh, this is a mission I, I added on just in case if I ever play as the Anodontosaurus in the future. But I guess this works for Tyrannosaurus Rex as well. Hello, Sukos. Yeah, it's obvious what you're trying to do. You want me to go down there, on the open field, where you will have the advantage. But no. I mean, it's already a 2v1 here. Why should I play according to your terms? Oh? Are you brave enough to face me on here? Yeah, you're, you're not gonna succeed in uh, getting me to follow you down there. I ain't stupid. Yeah, they're trying. Oh? I'm still not following. I'm going to kill you? Do it! Do it! Come on! Kill me! I'm here! You guys are the one uh, being aggressive here. I'm the one defending. Come on, I'm gonna yawn in your faces. How funny would it be if I actually just uh, safe log right in front of them? But then again, it's a full minute? Ah oh, yeah, they... They are probably... Ooh. They are probably not gonna allow that to happen. Come on, oh! A bit too far up there. Oh, now you want to... Okay. Come on. I have full defense. Will you go... Oh. Hey, Akilo. Fine then, jump on me. I can deal with you just a... Okay. Suko's trying, I'll deal with the Suko first. You took that shot to the face. Oh, you want some too? I'm getting some good headshot there. You do realize with face tank you guys are hitting... <laughs> oh, he got stuck on the Suko! Oh, that one Suko is really low. And that uh, Akilo took, <laughs> took uh, a stomp right to the face. Come on, Sukos. Don't run away, you were the one who wanted this. With this, I consider the mission to be completed. Now, the typical behavior is for the losing side to come back as any stronger creatures. So before they managed to stick an army of trucks on me, I made sure to safe log while they were licking their wounds. And that, ladies and gentlemen, I have managed to survive a hundred in-game days on Path of Titan's official servers. Contrast to what I actually believed in the first place, I thought I was 100% sure to die. 
However, by not starting anything or making any enemies and staying away from any populated areas, I was granted a rather peaceful time. And on that good note, I thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Goodbye!